Hey, welcome back friends, Mark here. As you can see, I keep busy in the winter time cutting firewood. And we're about two weeks away from the winter solstice, which means I'm gonna need about four to five full cords of firewood every winter season to keep my house warm. So you could say that a good chainsaw is very important to me and for heating my house. So today I'm very excited. I have a battery powered tool. Let's check it out. And I'm feeling This is the item that I'm reviewing today. This is the Sunjo 16 inch bar cordless chainsaw, 40 volt. All right, so let's get a let's get a close look at it. I just want to tell you a couple of the features. Best use limbs, firewood and logs. 16 inch bar, branch thickness 14.6 is what you can cut. No load speed 4400 RPMs. 40 volt eco sharp rechargeable and interchangeable lithium ion battery provides up to 40 minutes of runtime. Toolless chain tensioning knob right there. Comes with a plastic blade cover. I think they also call them scabbards. Safety handle with kickback brake function. Automatic oiler with window to gauge the oil level. Safety switch prevents accidental starting. All right. So this is kind of my workstation right here. The truck bed works very nice for that. Let's just slowly take it out here. Here's the battery. Here's the charger. The instructions, this I want to read through before operating it. Just want to be safe. Other tools, I may not read the instructions all the way through, but I think a chainsaw is very important. Here it is. Sunjo. Oh, wow, that's nice. The blade, the chain's already on it. Here's a tensioner. Safety switch right there. You can't just pull the trigger. You gotta push that in before you pull the trigger. It says stop. Looks like you need to add the oil. So it looks like you can pretty much get cutting pretty quick as soon as you have a charged battery. So I'm gonna charge this up, read the instructions, and come back. Okay, so I have charged the battery. I read all the instructions. I did have to top this off right here with bar and chain oil. So the capacity holder of that isn't really that large, so I recommend keeping an eye on it. There is that little window right there. It's a little hard to see through. So you just don't want to run out of bar oil. So now, here's what the battery looks like, fully charged. Let's try this out for the first time. All right, we'll put it down here. I did check all the tensioning. It came properly adjusted from the factory, which I was quite impressed. So I pushed that thumb down. This has a safety. It's pulled back, ready to go. All right, ready? Okay. Let's see how it cuts. I've got some small limbs we're gonna start out on and then work our way up. All right, so before I get started, I do wanna say I do promote safety by wearing Kevlar chaps, hearing protection, eye protection, head protection. Let's get started. Move on to something thicker. All right, here's a piece of poplar. This should cut pretty well. It's probably about seven inches or so. Let's find something thicker. All right, so I found some other wood to cut right here. Some elm that I dropped, it was starting to die. So I dropped it this summer. 
This is probably about six inches across. Let's see how it works on that. get the point it does work pretty well okay so I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on the Sun Joe brushless chainsaw 16 inch so let me just give you a quick look all the way around so you can see what it looks like I do find that the balance the battery is you know this is some weight right there but the position of it is really nice for the balance I'm happy there uh, let's see, let me disconnect the battery a minute. Let's see what happened with the chain tension. Yep, that's, that feels good. Sometimes those can loosen up in the first moments of use of a chainsaw. So it does come with only one battery. So if you're planning on doing some extensive cutting, you may want to have a second battery as a backup. So the nice thing about battery operated is you can cut the cord on a electric chainsaw and you don't need gas or mixed fuel. You can just have the battery ready to go, pop it in, and there you go. So this is, I would say, geared for the homeowner and somebody looking to simplify their chainsaw cutting needs. It's probably not meant for like the forestry service, but it will do the job around the house for an average homeowner. So that's my video review. Please put your comments, your questions down below. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. Click on those, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. Also, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Enjoy.